hidden in the Berkeley Hills, is the largest captive hyena colony in the world. The 13 hyenas that are part of this colony have been the subject of a 30-year research project. But due to a lack of funds, the facility is about to close. Although they live in captivity, the hyenas live comfortably in a semi-open compound and engage in basic day-to-day -day activities. They sleep, they eat, socialize with other hyenas, get a bit of exercise, and finally, Take a well-deserved shower. Yeah, good boy. Oh, does that feel good? <laughs> All of this with major accommodations and attendance by the colonist staff and researchers. But now they will be forced to leave their home. Sweetheart, let me put it in here. Okay? Ready? Good. Mary Weldell has been in charge of the colony for 29 years. Uh, our work has been looking at sexual development and differentiation, the masculinization of female hyenas. <laughs> and so Steve and his colleagues started looking at uh, estrogens. And it seems yeah. like estrogen is very important and could be responsible for what we see in female hyenas. We're, gonna, we're not going to get that. We're not going to get the answer to that. Researchers like Giulielli will no longer be able to continue with their projects. I think there's not uh, much demand or interest in purely behavioral studies. And then we'd, you know, we went into more biomedical things, but I, I think the animals are just too expensive and everyone wants to fund mice and rats, not not anything unusual, like a hyena.